Other news now, covering Fairfield, the former U.S. Steel headquarters building there in Fairfield hitting the auction block tomorrow, opening up the potential for redevelopment. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark live outside that iconic building with more on what this could mean for Fairfield. Michael. Good evening, Art. It's certainly a large building. It's five stories above ground and then two below it. It used to be home to hundreds of employees that would live in and spend money in Fairfield, but it's been idle for years, and that auction tomorrow could bring some new life to an area in need of growth. It's like taking a trip back in time. A cafeteria once filled with U.S. Steel employees, the escalators they used to get between floors, and the now deserted offices. This is the iconic headquarters, former headquarters building of U.S. Steel. It's over 350,000 square feet. Can't tell you how many employees have been through this building and worked there. But it had a great past, and, and as of tomorrow at the auction, we're going to find its future. Jack Granger has been showing the building to interested buyers ahead of tomorrow's auction that could pave the way for redevelopment on the commercial property that sits next to Miles College and the old Western Hills Mall. Offering views of the U.S. Steel Works site in Fairfield and the city of Birmingham skyline. Fairfield central location between Birmingham and where uh, 459 hits 59 and we're only 22 miles from Mercedes, which is sort of the Birmingham trade area. Until there's a buyer, no one knows for sure what the impact will be, but Fairfield Mayor Eddie Penny says leaders would support any project that could bring new growth to the city. Granger says the future is a lot more clear in the next 24 hours. And there are some groups that, that tell us that they're from an educational factor or they're from a uh, uh, revitalization factor, but, but uh, we'll see tomorrow. Now that auction is set to play, take place at 1 o'clock tomorrow at Embassy Suites in Homewood. Of course, we'll let you know what happens. Reporting live in Fairfield tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.